Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Muhammad's Boom Boom Room, where all of my guests either agree with me completely or they go boom. I am your host, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon me. And with me now is a fat, jolly charity worker who brings gifts to well-behaved children around the world. His sleigh is pulled by reindeer who fly around like my magic donkey, Burak, like the great God Allah. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. He is Santa Claus. Santa Claus, so wonderful of you to join us this evening. <gasps> Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, Muhammad, and may I be the first to wish you Merry Christmas. Christmas is haram. Christmas isn't haram, Muhammad. <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of the year. With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you. Music is haram. Oh, oh, hold on there, Muhammad. Is there no fun in your religion? Fun is haram. But is there nothing that brings joy in Islam? Well, I do like robbing caravans and torturing my enemies and having my way with my sex slaves <laughs> and slaughtering unbelievers. And that's why you're always on the naughty list. Wait, what are you writing? You can have a look, if you like. Why would you tell me to read your list, when as everyone knows, I can't read? This is the naughty list, and you've been the naughtiest boy ever. Let's see what we have here. You raped a prepubescent girl after forcing your best friend to give her to you because you had a perverted dream about her. You took the ex-wife of your own adopted son after causing the divorce by lusting after her, you got caught having sex with your slave girl in the bed of one of your wives. Then you swore that you would stop having sex with her. Then you started having sex with her again and claimed that Allah ordered you to do it. You had nine wives at one time, even though your own revelations only permit four. You allowed your followers to hire prostitutes. You supported your religion through robbery instead of hard work. You tortured a man for money. You called for the violent subjugation of the entire world. You ordered your followers to execute anyone who leaves your religion. You beat your wives. You encouraged your followers to beat their wives. You bought, owned, sold, and traded black African slaves which led your followers to institutionalize black African slavery. You told your followers that Satan looks like a black man. You- Okay, okay. So what happens because I'm on your stupid naughty list? Well, children on the naughty list get a lump of coal. Is that a black stone? Oh, I love worshiping black stones. I love to kiss them. I'm the original owner of the first pet rock. <laughs> Heavy petting. <laughs> Come here, Blackstone. Kissy, kissy, kissy. Come to Papa. Rapturous delight. Oh, Blackstone. You've been using lip balm. <laughs> Come here, you beautiful Blackstone. Kissy, kissy. Smoochy, smoochy. Big X. Little X. Oh, 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 let me talk. Smoochy, smoochy, I kiss pagan black stones on the first date. Mm. I guess I'll have to add kissing rocks like a pagan to your already unprecedented list of evil deeds. I can't even kiss black stones? See, this is why I hate Christmas. Ebenezer Scrooge and the Grinch also hated Christmas, but they changed. So maybe there's hope for you. Come on, just say Merry Christmas. It'll make you feel better. Which part of I hate Christmas didn't you understand? Are you sure you don't like Christmas just a little bit? I hate it! I hate it! What about Christmas joy? I hate every Christmas ever! Ever! What about Christmas carols? Are you deaf and fat? 
I said music is haram. And by the way, the real reason I declared music haram is so I could put an end to all Christmas carols because I hate Christmas. And the real reason I ordered my followers to violently subjugate the entire world is so I could put an end to Christmas everywhere. In fact, the only reason I invited you to the studio is so I could blow you up. <laughs> Hold on there, Mohammed. Before you blow us up, I have a little something for you. You're giving something to me? Well, of course. It's Christmas. What? No one ever gave me a Christmas present before. Can I open it? <laughs> That's what presents are for. Only two things you wanted, something to help you chop off heads and another prepubescent girl. But I wasn't about to give you another prepubescent girl because we all know you'd ruin Christmas for her forever. I love this new blade. Can I try it out? Maybe on you? <laughs> oh, Mohammed, what's the real reason you hate Christmas? Do you think it might have something to do with no one giving you any presents when you were a child? Maybe. Maybe. See, my father, he died before I was born. And then my mother, she gave me to some Bedouins in the desert. I spent a uh, few years with my Bedouin family. But eventually they gave me back to my mother because they thought I was demon-possessed. I was so happy to be back with my mother. But then she died. My grandfather, he took me in, but then he died too. At the time I was uh, eight years old, I had lost every single close relationship I'd ever had. No one gave me any presents. Little kids around the world were getting presents for Christmas. But uh, not me, not me, not little Mo. No presents for little Mo. That could be why I hate Christmas. Oh, Mohammed, you don't have to hate Christmas just because no one ever gave you presents. Christmas isn't really about presents. The presents are how we celebrate the most wonderful gift ever. Oh, oh. The most wonderful gift ever? Do you mean when Abu Bakr gave me a six-year-old daughter as my wife? Or when the governor of Alexandria gave me Mary the Copt as my sex slave? Or do you maybe mean, perhaps, when the great God Allah gives me all my virgins in paradise? No, silly pervert. The most wonderful gift ever was Jesus Christ. Now you're just talking nonsense. <laughs> I don't believe in a God who loves us enough to do something like that. Don't you get it, Muhammad? You were psychologically traumatized as a child. And now you hate Christmas and everything it represents. But your psychological trauma has now been imprinted on your entire community so that they hate what Christmas represents too. Santa, are you saying that because when I was a child, Every important person in my life died or abandoned me, that now maybe I have trouble understanding God as a, a father who loves us, who loves me, or Jesus as the divine son of the father who would actually enter into creation to lay his, his life down for us, for me, or, or a holiday where we celebrate God's gift to the world, this gift of the son. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly right, Mohammed. But you shouldn't let your dysfunctional childhood ruin Christmas for you, let alone for your billions of followers. So, 
What can I do to understand Christmas? That's easy. You have to understand that because you've done awful things, you're not righteous enough to be with God. So, if you're ever going to be with God, you need a righteousness that comes from someone else, not from you. You need a gift. God gives us his righteousness through the gospel. You receive God's gift of righteousness and forgiveness by declaring that Jesus is Lord and believing that he's the divine son of God who died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead. Well, I mean, I guess if I can believe that stars are missiles that the great God Allah uses to shoot demons and that the sun sets in a pool of muddy water, I mean, and that semen is formed in between the backbone and the ribs. I, I'm not really in a position to make fun of other people's beliefs. Especially when we have much better evidence for our beliefs, like Jesus fulfilling Old Testament prophecy and performing miracles and rising from the dead and appearing to his followers. Oh, Muhammad, if Jesus rose from the dead, shouldn't you be listening to what he said? You're right! And that's why I'm finally ready. I confess, I confess that Jesus is Lord. And I believe in my heart that Jesus, he, he died for our sins and he rose again from the dead. What happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say, that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And then... Alhamdulillah! I finally understand Christmas! Praise the risen Lord Jesus Christ! If a violent, perverted, caravan robber slash history's most obvious false prophet can understand the true meaning of Christmas, anyone can! Yes! Praise Jesus! Praise the Father! Praise the Son! And praise the Spirit! Three in one! Ho, ho, ho! The Christmas spirit has filled the boom, boom room! Yes! I normally make my guests go boom, but now my heart's going boom, boom, with joy! I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all year long. God bless us, everyone! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to Christians, and to Jews, and to Buddhists, and to Hindus, and to atheists, and to agnostics, and especially to all my followers around the world. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. Love your neighbor as yourself, and even love your enemies. God bless you all. You're all breathtaking. 